Happening today, today marks two years since Roe v. Wade was overturned, a decision that paved the way for new restrictions on abortion access throughout the U.S. And News Channel reporter Mina Wahab spoke with civic leaders who gathered in Santa Barbara today. I was born a year before Roe versus Wade, so I don't, I didn't know a different reality. Now we see what's playing out. 50 years of precedent was overturned exactly two years ago when the Supreme Court ruled in the Dobbs case, taking away a woman's federal right to an abortion and leaving it to each state to decide. Ever since the Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization decision came down, there has just been widespread chaos and confusion across the country um, and a public health crisis really as many states moved to ban abortion across the country. Abortion is legal in California and healthcare providers are seeing people from other states come to places like Santa Barbara for help. Providers are seeing heartbreaking stories from patients who are traveling hundreds and even sometimes thousands of miles away for care, sometimes spending their last dime um, to get here. Planned Parenthood says 21 states have a ban on some or all abortions, which impacts roughly 28 million people. Congressman Salud Carbajal says the decisions made in other states could be straining resources here. Many women are coming to our state and our communities for that care. So certainly it dilutes the resources that are available and makes, them, makes us have to stretch them more and find more resources so that we could, find, we could fulfill the entire need. But Carbajal says the battle for women's reproductive rights is not over. It's so important for the American people and residents here on the Central Coast to turn out and vote because elections have consequences and that is the best way to make sure your voice is heard. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab.